Ever seen those parents who think a trip to the grocery store is prime time for a screaming match with their kids? Or maybe those who let their little ones run a wild in restaurant while they sip on their cocktails, completely oblivious. Welcome Majesties, if it's your first time coming on here, I'd like to say you're welcome. Please do subscribe and join the family. I hope that you're doing all right. And again, welcome to the world of trashy parenting, where common sense takes a back seat and kills reigns supreme, grab a seat and prepare to witness a spectacle of questionable decisions and lackluster supervision, as these women express what they think is also trashy parenting. What immediately screams trashy parenting to you? So do I have to just say one or can I just go off? I'll just go off. Um, women who introduce their kids to these men and they're like, hey, this is dad, you know, the revolving door of men, new dad, new dad, new dad, new man, new man. It's freaking gross. Um, women who carry their babies into stores like Walmart when it's 30 degrees and all they have is diapers on. Gross. Um, kids who don't say please and thank you. Teach your kids better. Manners are a good thing. Um, kids that bully because I believe that bullying is being taught at home. Kids bully because adults do. Um, kids who are parents who are like, ooh, earthy, my kids don't wear shoes. Yeah, that's for home, not out in public. We like shoes. That's gross too. Yeah, this hurts your feelings. I don't care. Do better. What immediately screams trashy parenting to you? Oh, it's so hard to pick just one, so I'm going to name three. One, family vloggers and influencer parents who exploit their children online, who have turned them into content and are now monetizing their human existence and commercializing their childhood and having their kids pay the mortgage. That's pretty trash to me. Uh, number two would be any parent who has ever uploaded an image or a video of their own child covered in feces to the internet. That's literally the lowest of the low. And the third would be the parents, specifically moms, of these mummy ran accounts who are exploiting their young girls online and now offering subscriptions to exclusive content of their young children. That's uh that 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 goes beyond trashy parenting. What immediately screams trashy parenting to you? Anti-vaxxers, people who raise their sons very differently than how they raise their daughters just by virtue of their gender. The not my kid parents, like the ones who never think their kid is at fault. The they're just kids parents when the kids are just way too old and definitely know better. The I don't see color parents or why do you have to make everything about race people. Parents who demonize education. What immediately screams trashy parenting to you? So about five years ago, my daughter, she was in eighth grade, she's 13 years old. She says, hey, can my friend from school spend the night? I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. So she tells me, hey, mom, my friend's almost here. I was like, okay, I'm going to go outside and meet her parents when they drop her off. So I'm walking outside. The girl gets out of the car. I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. And the car starts backing away. I'm like, oh, I was going to, I was going to talk to your dad real quick before he left. And she goes, oh, that's not my dad. It was an Uber. They sent her to a stranger's house to spend the night in an Uber with a strange man that they knew nothing about. What immediately screams trashy parenting to you? Financially speaking, I have a couple of these. The first being parents who will use their kid's name and social security number to set up utility services. And for the life of me, I don't know how they're able to pull it off, but people do it. And then to make matters worse, they don't pay the bills on time, which means their kids end up with bad credit before they even graduate high school. And the second would be parents who financially cut off their kids the moment they turn 18. I can't wrap my head around this because I don't understand what they think happens overnight where a 17 year old will magically be able to completely support themselves. My senior year in high school, this happened to a girl that I went to Votech with. Now we were graduating in June, but her birthday was earlier in the year around like maybe March or February. So when she turned 18, her parents, they had a rule in their house where once you turn 18 and you're an adult, you're on your own. But when she turned 18, she had a choice. She either had to get her own apartment or start paying rent. And she was also responsible for her own food, her own clothes, what have you. It was on her. Her parents were no longer going in their pocket. And sure enough, when she turned 18, all of this fell on her, even though she was still in high school and had about three or four months until she got her diploma. For one point exactly, 
things that do family vlogs may find is a little bit offensive to be thought that that is trashy especially if they really never put into it to say they are trying to make a living off of their kids okay so in a nutshell trashy parenting is like trying to build a sand castle with a leaky bucket messy ineffective and bound to collapse sooner or later it's all about skipping the parenting rule book and going rogue but hey at least it makes for some entertaining people, people watching right but let me know what you think in the comment section below what you exactly think is trashy parenting and what things you agree about all of this that is in this video do subscribe like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye